Nice colt ready. I love him. Yeah, oh, no, that's such a great, great race. I, I think this is probably one of the best Iroquois that's been in a while. I swear there's at least five or six going with Derby next year. I don't know. It's just yep. a no, great deal. No, absolutely. It's a great deal. Um, but let's talk about the Philly first. You know, coming off that nice maiden. It looks like maybe it took her a couple races to learn what she was doing, and she's really stepped up now. Oh, no, most definitely. Yeah, her first race, we're really surprised. Uh, she, uh, she didn't run bad. She ran, she ran well, but still a little green, and then a uh, I took her up to Saratoga and you know, they did a really splendid job with her. And the last race, winning up there was really impressive. Uh, it was nice for her to come over here and show that wasn't really a fluke. But uh, in Santana, I think, you know, 14 horses in the race, I was like, man, there's so much problems that can occur, but Santana did such an impeccable job just keeping her right there in position. They were going fast on the front end, it was just in a great spot. And, as soon as he got her open, she seemed to just love it and run on. And I uh, was very, very ecstatic. That was a great race. $30,000 $30, towards the Breeders' Cup entry fees, 10 Kentucky Oaks points. Pretty bright future for her, right? I believe so, you know. Very nice and crazy farmer. There's plenty of people to work with. And, uh, Mark's uh, a lot of boys now. <laughs>